Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about the HPE ProLiant BL460C Gen 9 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on drives, both hard drives and solid state drives. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. It's a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant BL460C Gen 9 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, let's hop in. Now, this video is gonna be specifically dedicated to drives. So what we're gonna do in this video as a whole is we're gonna go over the types of compatible interfaces, the max speeds and the max sizes. We're gonna show you how to install, which is super easy. And then at the end, we're gonna show you a cool testing tool that we like to show you the power on hours and the health scores for your drive. So let's go ahead and hop in. All right, let's talk about the different compatible interfaces cases where you will have a SATA hard drive, SAS hard drive, SATA solid state drive, SAS solid state drive, or an NVMe solid state drive. I do want to note with the NVMe solid state drive, you do have to have the correct FIO setting and you can only use one double width uh, graphic card for NVMe. All right, so let's talk about the different sizes. So for a SATA hard drive, you're gonna get two terabytes. For a SAS hard drive, you're gonna get 2.4 terabytes. For a SATA solid state drive, you're gonna get 3.84 terabytes. It's gonna be 15.3 terabytes for a SAS solid state drive. And then for NVMe, you're gonna get four terabytes. Now that's all according to HPE spec sheet. Uh, I'm sure someone's gonna drop some comments down below and said they've put in higher uh, capacities. And actually, if you have, do drop a comment down below to help out the other users. As far as what we have done, we have seen uh, 7.68 terabytes on the SATA solid state drive side, and we have seen uh, 7.68 terabytes on the NVMe, so uh, on the NVMe solid state side as well. So do know that there are some stuff that you probably will be able to get working. Um, and we haven't actually put in a 15 terabyte NVMe, but I wouldn't be surprised if that worked as well. So, all right, now that we know about the sizes, let's talk about the speeds. So for a SATA hard drive, you're gonna get 7.2K. That, that's what you get, 7.2K RPM. For a SAS hard drive, so it's gonna be a little bit faster, you're gonna get a 7.2K option, but you're also gonna get a 10K and a 15K option, which makes it a little bit better because it's a faster speed overall. But again, with a SAS hard drive, you gotta remember that the uh, it's spinning you know, 10, 15,000 times a minute, uh, the ball bearings will wear out over time. So it's something I always do like to note that, um, you know, long-term, if it's been running for three to five years, I would definitely keep a spare on site because at some point they will go bad. So for a solid state SATA, the speed is gonna be six gigabit per second. For a SAS solid state drive, it's gonna be 12 gigabit per second. And same thing for NVMe, it's gonna be 12 gigabit per second. All right, so now that we know a little bit more about the uh, speed sizes and and the different types of interfaces. Let's show you how to install them. But before we do, I'm gonna grab my ESD gear and be right back. All right, now that I have my ESD gear on, we're safe to work on our machine. So this is gonna be a very simple upgrade as a whole. So let's say we're removing an old drive. This is an old 300 gig 10K SAS, great drive back in the day. Not so great nowadays. Uh, so let's just go ahead and you push the red and you just pop them out and they literally will just slide out. And we're gonna upgrade these to some 1.92 TB SATA solid state drives. And again, if you go to uh, our website to order, you will get the correct tray uh, that is needed for uh, HP servers. So this just slides in so easy. You just pop it, slide it in right when it gets to here, you'll even see it catch. And then you just close it and it clicks into place. It's a very, very, very easy upgrade. Uh, the other thing I want to note is that you might be at home thinking, yeah, I do actually need some solid state drives, but not for this. I might need it for a different system. Um, if you do have a large form factor system and you need to have the converter or the adapter, uh, we sell this on our website where you can order the tray with the adapter, with the SSD all in one place uh, that will have the correct connection, everything that you need. So you don't have to run around to three different places. It'll be one kit all ready to go. All right, now that we see uh, how easy it is to install, let's show you a cool tool that we like called HD Sentinel. Ready, right, guys, so I have HD Sentinel pulled up right now. And as you can see, we currently have two drives plugged in. Uh, we have this installed into a storage array where we like to plug in multiple drives at a time so we can test those drives. HD Sentinel is an awesome tool because you can see things like the power on hours, which is great, especially when you're buying used equipment. You can see how long that that, that drive has been in use. You don't want to be using drives that have been, you know, heavily used because then you have a higher risk of drive failure. Um, and that's one of the reasons why HD Sentinel is such a cool tool. But as you can see, we can just go ahead and plug a drive into the array and it'll automatically 
populate within the software. Like I said, lots of information. It'll give you health scores of the drives. As you can see, the two we have up top, they have 100% health score, while the one at the bottom has a 99%, so all pretty good. So I hope you guys found this video useful, and if you did, go ahead, smash the subscribe and leave a like. If you're interested in purchasing a custom-built server or you're looking to buy some drives, we do have plenty of those in stock, so you can go reach out to us at sales at cloudninjas.com. Sales at cloudninjas.com. Anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by.